What's going on, everyone? It's your boy, Side Swipes of Boss, back at it again with another tier list. So, with year eight of the Arrowverse coming to an end about two months ago, to an abrupt end, but still an end, I decided to go back and put all the seasons of the Arrowverse into a tier list. You might know where some of them might go since I've done a few reviews on some of these seasons, but most of them will probably be brand new to you. So here we go with the Arrowverse seasons in this tier list. And once again, if you do like this video, just hit that like button. It takes two seconds. And hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. So we're going to start in order in the beginning with Arrow Season 1. Arrow Season 1 was a great start to Arrow. It had some great characters, a great main villain, great fight scenes as well. It wasn't the best for sure, but definitely, definitely not the worst. Definitely would be like in the top, maybe like five or six at least. So I put Arrow Season 1 in the A tier. A, A for Arrow, look at that. Next up, we have Arrow Season 2, and it was just beautiful. It was a beautiful season of television. Amazing fight scenes, amazing storyline, great characters, a great main villain. It, it was just awesome. And the flashbacks were top-notch, too. So, S-tier material for Arrow Season 2. Next up, we have The Flash Season 1. And just like Arrow Season 1, it was a great start to its show. It had great fight scenes. Well, great, like, you know, CGI fight scenes. A great main villain and hero rivalry it was awesome some great characters as well so definitely a tier material and i'll put it above because i did like it a little more than arrow season one next up we have arrow season three and this is kind of where arrow dropped off a bit i mean the first half was pretty good some of the second half was good but then it kind of dropped off towards the end the villain wasn't all that Felicity started to take over and Olicity came into play, so that was garbage. And Roy left, I didn't like that. There were also a few other things that kind of brought the season down a bit. But it was okay. Like I said in my review, it was better than I better than most people consider. So I'll probably put it like the top of the C tier. Next up we have Supergirl season one. And it's just an awful season of television. I don't <laughs> I don't know why CBS thought they could do something with Supergirl. I'm really glad they went to the CW. So definitely F tier material. Next up we have The Flash Season 2. And just like Arrow Season 2, it's the best season of that show. At least my personal favorite. And yeah, it's just awesome. The main villain is awesome. <laughs> the fight scenes are awesome. The main storyline is awesome. So yeah, The Flash Season 2 is definitely S-tier material, but just below Arrow Season 2, because I do like Slade Wilson a tad bit more than Zoom. Next up, we have Arrow Season 4, and just like Supergirl Season 1, it was a disappointment. It was a bad season of television, but it's going to go above Supergirl Season 1, but also in the F-tier. Next up, we have Legends of Tomorrow Season 1, and it's better than I at first thought it was when I first watched it. I didn't really like it when I first watched it, but then watching it a few times over, it is better than I thought it was. It's definitely like a core team show for sure. So for me, it's probably going to go in the C tier, but below Arrow Season 3. Next up, we have Supergirl Season 2. Definitely an improvement from Season 1, but not that much. I mean, they introduced Superman, so that was cool. They introduced mon -El, that was cool. And they have... Supergirl Season 2 has the best Arrowverse relationship, at least in my opinion, with Kara and mon -El. So, it's going to go in the D tier. It'll probably end up in the top of the D tier, though. Next up, we have The Flash Season 3. And just like with Legends Season 1, it's better than I thought it was, especially when you like go watch it a few times. It's like, wow, this is actually kind of better than I thought at first, because I didn't like it at first, but now looking back at it, it's like, oh, it's pretty decent. Like, Savitar is a better villain than I thought he was. 
You know, they might have mistreated Kid Flash for sure, but he is kind of good in this season. The fight scenes are pretty good. You know, the first half is great, by the way, except that Flashpoint episode, but it doesn't matter. So it's also going to go in the C tier, but probably like the mid C tier. Next up, we have Arrow Season 5, which is redemption for Arrow because they just came out of the gate with an awesome villain, an awesome storyline, some beautiful acting by Stephen Amell. I don't know where that came from or where was that in Season 4, but it was awesome. So Arrow Season 5 is definitely S-tier material, but probably like the bottom of the S-tier for right now. Next up, we have Legends of Tomorrow Season 2, and I don't know what it is. It's just, I really like Season 2 of these TV shows for some reason, except Supergirl and probably Black Lightning, but I'll get to that later. But Legends of Tomorrow Season 2 is awesome. It's like the best Legends gets, in my opinion. A great storyline, you know. They had the, I think it was like the Aberration, I think it was. The villains were great, like I said, in the Legion of Doom. It was a great storyline, great connections with the characters. So I really liked it. So it'll probably go at like the top or the A tier. Next up, we have Supergirl Season 3, which in my opinion is the best Supergirl we'll get. It's not really saying much, but it's kind of decent. It had a good villain in Reign, the, Leg the Legion of Superheroes, I think it is. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I f I'm pretty sure I'm getting it wrong, but the Legion of Superheroes is introduced, so they come in there. I almost got them mixed up with Legion of Doom. <laughs> wow. Uh, Supergirl is pretty good in this season. Some pretty decent fight scenes. So, yeah, I'll probably put it at, like, the bottom of the C tier. Next up, we have The Flash Season 4. And The Flash Season 4 is probably one of the most disappointing seasons in the Arrowverse. It could have been so much better than it ended up being. They had a good main villain in The Thinker with Neil Sandy Lance playing him. He was good, but once they got rid of him and started doing this body switching, it didn't make sense whatsoever. Uh, the Flash suit was pretty cool. The introduction of Ralph Dibney, the elongated man, was cool as well. Iris just wasn't good this season, in my opinion. So, for me, the Flash Season 4 will probably be the bottom of the C tier. Next up, we have Arrow Season 6. And Arrow Season 6 was just okay. The first half wasn't that great, but the second half was better than the first half. I mean, the first half kind of suffered from the fact that it kind of botched the uh, cliffhanger in season five by making everybody alive except Samantha, which we didn't care about at all. So that didn't make sense. But it was just an okay season of Arrow to me. So it'll probably also go in the C tier. Probably like the mid C tier. Yeah, right here. Next up, we have Legends of Tomorrow season three. And it is a pretty good season of Legends. Not as good as season two for sure, but still a pretty good season. It had a pretty good villain in Mollus. You know, Damian Dark was also in there a lot. And he was awesome as well. And there were some pretty good moments in the season as well. So I'll probably put it at like the top of the B tier. Next up, we have Black Lightning season one. And season one of Black Lightning was just okay to me. I mean... It wasn't really a great start to the show, but it wasn't a bad start either. It had some pretty cool fight scenes. I mean, the suit was kind of clunky to me at first. It kind of grew on me as the season went along for sure. And it was some pretty good character interactions too. So for me, it'll probably go probably like the mid C tier. Next up, we have Supergirl season four. And they kind of dropped the ball at least until like the last fourth of the season. Uh, it didn't really start well. Uh, ben Lockwood is a pretty decent villain to me, but he couldn't really save the season, <laughs> at least the beginning of the season. Lex Luthor was the saving grace of season four. When he showed up, everything kicked up into high gear for sure. In the last couple episodes of season four, especially the ones where he was in, 
they were pretty awesome. So it'll go at the top of the D tier. Really, Lex just made it a lot better than it could have been. Next up, we have The Flash Season 5. Nora wasn't particularly a great protagonist. I mean, she definitely had her moments for sure. But she didn't really hold up the season as well as I thought she would. The cicadas weren't great villains at all. That suit was, <laughs> I don't know what it was. I'm, it was probably like the, the headpiece or something. That suit wasn't great at all. Reverse Flash did show up in the end, so that was cool. But not even he could have saved the season from the almost the catastrophe it was. So for me, it'll probably go at like the top of the D tier. Next up, we have Arrow Season 7, and just like Arrow Season 6, it was just okay. Only this time, the first half of Season 7, it was great, especially when Oliver was in prison. That storyline was awesome. Then it kind of dropped the ball in the back half of the season when Emiko wasn't really a great main villain. Uh, Roy returning was actually pretty cool, but not even he could have saved the season. So for me... It'll probably go in the C tier as well, but probably just above Season 6. Because I did like it a little bit better. Next up, we have Legends of Tomorrow Season 4. And this is where the show just lost the team spirit thing. And just went for full comedy. I mean, with the magical creatures, it didn't make sense. Neuron wasn't really a great villain. He didn't even have his own body. He was just a cloud. The introduction, well not introduction, but the addition of John Constantine to the team, it was pretty cool. That's really all that season four really had going for it. Also a few character moments here and there. But for me, it's probably going to go at like the bottom of the D tier. Yes, even worse than Supergirl season two. Next up, we have Black Lightning season two. And Black Lightning Season 2 wasn't that great at all. It was so many storylines going on that it kind of made it hard to track what was happening. There really wasn't a consistent main storyline. It was just a like 10 or 11 side storylines that probably converged or at least ended towards the end. So for me, Black Lightning, it'll probably go like the bottom of the D tier. At least Season 2. Next up, we have Supergirl Season 5, and it is pretty decent, not really that great. I mean, they did have Lex, so that was pretty cool. I'll give it a little bit of slack just because they weren't able to finish their full season because of Corona, but it finished most of it, and it wasn't really great or anything. So for me, it's probably going to go like the bottom of the C tier. Next up, we have Batwoman Season 1, and it wasn't really a great start to the show. I mean, Kate Kane wasn't a very interesting character. The city of Gotham wasn't very interesting either. Probably the only saving grace of the show was Alice. Alice was a pretty good villain, and there was a few standout episodes, especially like the back half of the season for sure, like after Crisis. But other than that, it was just okay. Not great, or not good even, just okay. So this will probably go at the bottom of the D tier. Next up, we have Black Lightning Season 3. And it was a pretty great season of Black Lightning for sure. I mean, there was a consistent storyline. The costume change for Black Lightning was awesome. I really like this new suit. The villain, main villain in Grave Digger, he was awesome as well. So for me, Black Lightning Season 3 will probably go at like the top of the B tier. Because it was, it was great for at least Black Lightning standards. Next up, we have The Flash Season 6. And I will cut it a little bit of slack just because of Corona and it wasn't able to finish. But that's not really saying that much. I mean, the first half of the season was pretty good with blood work. I like that storyline. But the back half wasn't really that interesting after Crisis. I mean, Mira Master isn't really a... Or Mistress. She isn't really that interesting villain to me. There wasn't really that many interesting things about the back half of season six. I'll cut it a little bit of slack just because it wasn't able to finish. 
it's filming because of Corona, but other than that, it really wasn't that great. So I'll probably put it in the middle of the C tier. Next up, we have Legends Season 5, and it was just an okay season. I mean, Ray leaving did leave a hole in the show for me. It didn't really have a great start either. It kind of picked up towards the end, and I kind of did like a few of the episodes towards the end. But it was just an okay season of Legends for me. So it's probably going to go at like the bottom of the C tier. Wow, the C tier is getting long. And finally, we have Arrow Season 8. It was a good conclusion to the TV show of Arrow. Wasn't really a great conclusion because of all the spinoff setup that it did. And the spinoff might not even happen now. So it's kind of a waste of time. But other than that, it was pretty great. Well, not great, but good. So I'll probably put it at the top of the B tier. So as you can see, I did make a few shifts in my list. Just going back and looking at them. Some shows that I put in the C tier probably deserve to be in the B tier since they were kind of better. And I changed the C tier around a little bit as well in the D tier. So not just because the C tier was getting long, but because I think some of the seasons deserve more credit than I gave them. So I did move season three of The Flash, season three of Supergirl, and season seven of Arrow to the B tier. But that's the tier list, folks. F tier, we have Arrow Season 4 and Supergirl Season 1. D tier, we have The Flash Season 5, Supergirl Season 4, Black Lightning Season 2, Supergirl Season 2, Legends of Tomorrow Season 4, and Batwoman Season 1. C tier, we have Arrow Season 6, Legends of Tomorrow Season 1, The Flash Season 6, Arrow Season 3, Black Lightning Season 1, The Flash Season 4, Supergirl Season 5, and Legends of Tomorrow Season 5. B tier, we have Arrow Season 8, Black Lightning Season 3, Legends of Tomorrow Season 3, The Flash Season 3, Supergirl Season 3, and Arrow Season 7. A tier, we have Legends of Tomorrow Season 2, The Flash Season 1, and Arrow Season 1. And S tier, we have Arrow Season 2, The Flash Season 2, and Arrow Season 5. So that's all the time we have for today. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know in the comment section down below what's your tier list or rankings for the seasons. Would you change minds a bit? Would you change it a lot? Or would it be the same as mine? Just let me know in the comment section down below. Also, let me know what tier list you guys would like to see next. And if you did enjoy this video, just hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like this. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.